All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Higahiro. Uh, I shaved and I brought a high school home, I guess the name is. High school girl home, I guess the name is. Um, we are starting with episode two on this channel because like a few anime that kind of come out uh, in the seasons, I am not sure whether I want to start by reacting to them on the channel from the first episode um, or I just miss the first episode and then see it like, oh, it's, you know, people are actually enjoying this. Let me have a look into the story. Um, but yeah, I watched the first episode actually today, earlier on, and I enjoyed it. Uh, there's some things that are obviously a bit touchy or interesting about the, uh, the subject or the plot of the anime, but so far, uh, we have this, these two characters, we have Sayu, the girl, and Yoshido, Yoshido, I think, I might, that might be wrong, Yoshido, um, who is obviously a 26-year-old man. Um, who's taken in this high school girl, um, which in, uh, the, you know, it's a weird situation, obviously, um, but he's being very clear and very, I think he's being very correct about it on how this weird situation is going. Um, he's obviously said to her already, you know, because she's already started to kind of like, we've seen what a, a glimpse of what her past has been like for her and it's not been great. And obviously, you know, it's all she kind of knows and that's what she kind of tried to put on him. But he's already said, um, you know, I don't want that shit here, you know, if you want to, you can live here with me, but you've got to do, do, like, just, you know, work for it, basically, but not in any kind of weird way. And he's uh, he's shot it down now, however many times, saying, you know, don't seduce me or anything like that. I don't, I don't want that. I don't want to, obviously, do anything with a teenage girl. Um, so it's an interesting plot. Um, hopefully, this kind of, this keeps up um, in terms of, like, him, you know not being any weird about it um there are obviously are some things that she we're gonna have to learn about her and she's gonna have to learn about life um and how you know how things are actually done and she needs to not be obviously take advantage of being taken advantage of by people and hopefully it can just be nice and wholesome because the first episode actually was you know there was some some little iffy bits but it was it was wholesome and I hope it continues like that. So, anyway guys, uh, without further ado, as always, like the video if you liked the video, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And let's get into the episode right now. How does she know that already? How is How does she know that Orange is favourite son? Yeah, there's still a, a little bit of, uh, a little bit to learn about this character. I hope we kind of, that is unwrapped, I guess. I'm gonna. Yeah, it's interesting how we're gonna see um, how the woman he actually uh, originally liked, or may still like, um, will fit into this story. I don't know. And obviously these other characters which we haven't met yet. Is that all manga? What has he bought? Yeah. What does she want? What does she want? Hmm? She say nice, trusting. Like what was she gonna say? She does feel like. It's a very forced smile. I think she needs to get something off of her chest. Yeah, I figured that's what she was trying to say. But he's pretty. He's pretty. He's pretty much just being a normal, decent human being. Like it's not overly nice. I mean, yeah, it's, just, it's what she's had to put on to basically live. So she does need some adjustment. Yeah, she is a kind person. She's obviously. I don't know the reason as to why she ran away from home yet, but like, she's a good person. They both are. So. Mm, okay, so this girl may, you know, kind of like Yoshida. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> I like your attitude. <laughs> These random bentos that you can just buy from the shops are apparently amazing in this anime. <laughs> mm, that's the second time he's probably been told that today. <laughs> he does have a good way of dealing with people. Godosan. Oh, <laughs> I like her, and she clearly likes him. <laughs> Why does he have to apologize for that? Oh. <laughs> he already ate, though. Oh, yeah. So she does need a phone. Yeah, I mean, she's a teenage girl, bro. Like, <laughs> Yeah, any teenager would, like, oh, you know, you don't want to look shit. I didn't want to look shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's a tough situation. You need to learn a lot more about her first. <laughs> I respect that. <laughs> I mean, at this point in time, he, he wholeheartedly believes that. So, I mean, there's nothing 
he's not really doing anything bad at the moment, I think, I guess. Apart from what might be seen as kidnapping by the law. But it's clearly not like that, so... Shout out to your work bro that is very understanding about this situation. <laughs> I wonder what she's gonna have to say. I hope she's not like uh, the kind of troublemaking, kind of getting in between people type. You going for a meal with her again, bro? You best not be paying. <laughs> what does she even want from you at this point? What the hell? I right, to be fair, going to oh, I miss going to like these kind of places. I've only ever been to this kind of place once where they have like a little barbecue grill thing in the middle with meat, and it was f so good. <laughs> Well, at least he's got his priorities straight on the right age, so. <laughs> but, like, I want to know her deal. Like, what is she, is she trying to, is she trying to be flirtatious? What does she want to talk to him about? Like, you said you had a boyfriend of five years. Yeah, please explain why. Why, why, why should it matter to you anyway? And she's your boss as well, like. Why do you care? You rejected him, why do you care? Bruh, I don't like her. I don't know what for what reason she is questioning about this, but I don't like her. And she's already rejected you, so I don't see the point as to why you're even here. Yes, thank you. Holy shit, thank you for saying that. Get lost. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, you best be only paying for your meal, I swear. <laughs> no, it's not. I. Holy shit. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about her. She she seems like trouble. You need to shut her down if she doing if she tries to mess with you in any way, bro. Where's uh? Did you bring her phone? Is it in your bag? I like that they can be jokey with each other about this. I like how this is going. There wasn't any weird kind of you know interrupted bath time thing, anything like that. I'd like it if they kept this kind of kind of father daughter wavelength, but it's obviously not. Like, it's just a little bit different, like a lot different. But um, obviously, it's probably not going to stay like that, so we'll see. <laughs> oh, it's wholesome. It's nice. Your phone is not set up already. Sure. <laughs> okay, just keep telling yourself that. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yoshida, man. <laughs> she was just genuinely happy, yeah. Sexy. I mean, she does, she, she does like the tease, I guess. Right, so that was Higihiro episode 2. I'm just going to say Higihiro, Higihiro because the lot, the full name is way too long. Um, but yeah, interesting second episode. Um, obviously, I've said in the past about series on my channel. Um, if at any point I feel like it's not for me or anything like that, I will just prop stop watching it or kind of make an announcement um, that I will likely stop watching it or I just may just stop watching it altogether. Um so far off this anime, I'm it's fine. Uh, I'm happy to keep watching it on the channel because it seems like a nice story. Um, I feel, you know, from anime that's coming out this season. Um, so I won't be stopping it anytime soon that I'm aware of. But obviously, you know, if it's something that I start not to enjoy or I start not to like the premise of, I will. Um, but at the moment, I don't see that happening. It's a nice story, um, and we'll see where it goes. But yeah, I really enjoyed the second episode. Um, I'm interested to see how the the dynamic between these two in a non-weird way, which is nice. Um, I believe there was actually an anime that came out this season as well, which kind of has the same premise in terms of like an older dude and a high school girl. Um, I only saw the plot. I haven't even watched the first episode, and I don't plan to. Um, but it seems to be this basically same premise, except the dude actually falls for the high school girl, and that's like no thank you. I don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to watch that. So I'm glad this one is like the one that's actually gaining popularity and people are actually liking because it seems a lot more wholesome and not weird, like not as weird as you know the other one. Um, but yeah. The, uh, the boss lady, I'm not really sure how I feel about her. She's obviously kind of like getting into a business which she doesn't need to know about because, she, you know, he already she already rejected him basically. Um, and it's just kind of, you know, you said you've got a boyfriend for five years. Whether or, whether or not she actually does or not, I don't know. Um, but uh, it's a bit weird and I don't like how she's in his business. Um, 
But we'll see where that goes. You know, there might be kind of some kind of redemption. I might be reading too much into it. Who knows? But uh, yeah, uh, that's all I really have to say. And that is that. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day and peace out.